Hey YouTube, it's ACU and welcome to the 178th episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors. All right, to start off, I wanted to talk about iOS 7.1, more specifically how the upcoming firmware will impact the Evasion 7 untethered jailbreak. So earlier this week, ensuing the release of iOS 7.1 beta 4 over two weeks ago, Apple ceded the fifth beta of 7.1 to registered iOS developers. Now, similar to previous iterations of 7.1, the latest beta is available for immediate download via both the company's iOS developer portal and as an OTA or over the year update for devices that are already running a previous version of 7.1. Unsurprisingly, the latest update was compiled with a slightly higher build number than that of its predecessor, indicating only minor changes and revisions. Now, while the finalized version of 7.1 will admittedly bring improvements to iOS 7, the update will unfortunately patch the Evasion 7 untethered jailbreak, effectively rendering the utility useless and making it impossible to jailbreak 7.1 for the public. And I'll have the complete changelog linked to below on a post on my site. Interestingly though, the only significant update found in the fifth beta, aside from minor bug correction, is the introduction of new, quote, natural sounding Siri voices for Chinese being Mandarin, Japanese and English for the United Kingdom and devices in Australia. Also, the latest beta includes a new compressed version of Siri for the languages previously mentioned that is then expanded into its more natural sounding state once the device is connected to both a Wi-Fi network and a power source. So again, I'll have the full changelog for the fifth beta linked to below, but unfortunately it has been confirmed that both the fourth and fifth betas of iOS 7.1 patch vulnerabilities exploited by the Evasion 7 untethered jailbreak which will cause the utility to not function properly on 7.1 once Apple releases the firmware to the public. However, even if 7.1 beta 5 didn't patch anything, the fourth beta version of 7.1 did regrettably patch a major kernel exploit utilized by Evasion 7. So summarizing that article in the recent release, if you wanna preserve your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch's jailbroken state, avoid iOS 7.1 beta 4, beta 5, and future versions of the firmware, especially the public release. Now along the same lines, referencing an article from iJailbreak Evasion, I wanted to go over some basic details with you guys and also discuss again the upcoming patch for Evasion 7. So jailbreaking is the elusive process of enabling root access on an iOS based device through the exploitation of said device's mobile operating system itself. Equipped with years of knowledge and hacking experience, the four members that comprise the world renowned Evaders dev team have thus far released the first and only jailbreak utilities for both iOS 7 and iOS 6 that greatly reduce the complexity of the jailbreak process to simply plugging advice into a computer and clicking jailbreak. Unfortunately though, the team's latest untethered jailbreak 7.0.4 tool, Evasion 7, is nearing extinction as Apple prepares to release iOS 7.1. Now new reports suggest that the finalized version of 7.1 intended for public use is slated to be released sometime next month in March. Now again, the new 7.1 update will be the first significant revision to iOS 7 since 7.0 was released last fall. In addition to improving minor visual aspects of the operating system, 7.1 will correct various bugs and bring other performance improvements. And with past reports dating all the way back to December, suggesting that 7.1 would be released in March, the vague release timeframe for the firmware is all but confirmed. So with that and the fact that 7.1 will patch the untethered Evasion 7 jailbreak in mind, if you have yet to jailbreak or you're interested in jailbreaking now, just be sure to take advantage of this opportunity because you won't be able to jailbreak Apple's latest public firmware for much longer. Again, once 7.1 Point one is issued. So down below, I'll have a link to my Untethered Evasion 7.0.4 jailbreak tutorial. And speaking of jailbreaking and somewhat of a surprise release, the Evaders issued Evasion 1.0.5. Now for those of you who don't already know, last week Apple pushed out iOS 7.0.5 for select iPhone 5S and iPhone 5C models compatible with China's network in non-US countries to correct network provisioning complications. Now similar to past releases, the latest version of Evasion 7 is still a one-click 
jailbreak 7.0.4 utility that's also capable of jailbreaking all versions of iOS 7, including 7.0.5 for all of the latest iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch models. Now, I also create a video that goes more into depth and I highly recommend checking it out, especially if you're at all confused regarding 7.0.5 or Evasion 7 1.0.5. Wrapping up this week's episode, I wanted to briefly discuss the Pebble smartwatch and other post-PC smart wearable devices. So yesterday I did publish my in-depth Pebble Steel smartwatch unboxing and review video. I highly recommend watching it. I actually think the Pebble smartwatch is an incredible device. Its potential is nearly limitless. It does everything from displaying all notifications received on the smartphone or tablet it's connected to, to actually being able to control things like Philips Hue lights, a smart TV, or even a Nest thermostat, and so much more. Not to mention the fact that the design for the watch is absolutely amazing. It has a $249 price tag which is cheaper than most premium watches that don't include smart functionality. It also has its own app store which opens up tons of possibilities. It's waterproof. The list goes on and on. Again, if you're at all interested, just be sure to watch my detailed video and I'll have a link to that down below. Now, that's pretty much it for this episode. I'll have more coverage in next week's. And if you guys want a chance to enter to win a $100 Amazon gift card in this video, just be sure to rate it up, hit that subscribe button to be notified every time I release new videos and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. Once your comments have been posted, you'll be automatically automatically entered to win. If you don't know what to leave in the comment section, try answering the question of the day. And this time around, I think I'm going to make it. What are your thoughts on the Pebble Steel smartwatch or smart wearables in general and where you think they're going in the future, especially with all of the Apple iWatch rumors floating around recently? Again, just be sure to let me know down below or on Jailbreak Tech Info. And if you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I release new videos or cover Jailbreak topics, just be sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, add me one of your circles inside of Google+. Plus and follow me on Instagram at ICUID, links to everything below. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.